former car factory mm -hmm. that now has a lot of like little independent shops and there's a spa right over here. But we are waiting a couple minutes for the Corsair Distillery and Brewery to open. <laughs> we have uh, like six hours to kill before we can check into the hotel. So we're just walking around with our luggage. Okay, I said before we junk up this room, let me do a room tour. So here's our two queen beds and this cool, I don't know what this is behind it, sound waves and tape reels. And then uh, this room is apparently on the side of the hotel with less construction. It did come with earplugs. Oh wow, look at this. I think that's the stadium and it has grass on the roof and like some cool old buildings and stuff. Very cool. And nice full length mirror. And then our little desk and TV. Hello. <laughs> and then there's a closet over here. And here's the bathroom, which is crazy. Look at this wall art. It's like a, um, the Fat Ham restaurant. The and then all this bright green. Mm -hmm. Nice counter space. Mm. And. Here's the tub. Very nice. Mm -hmm. This will be nice. but they have live music here at night because apparently every place in Nashville has live music. And it's called Puckett's Grocery, although I don't really see like, yeah, there's, there's like some uh, This whole time I thought it was a market. It does say groceries on the wall. I don't know if I can see. It does say groceries on the wall and there's like some coolers of drinks, but it's not like a store at all, it's a restaurant. And it smells. It smells like, seriously, I'm, I'm, I'm not even kidding. It smells like, 1,500 pounds of bacon being <laughs> smoked, and they're piping it into the restaurant. And it smells very good. Like our hair is ruined. <laughs> Tennessee State Museum, which I don't want to speak badly of because it's free, which is very nice. It's the Tennessee, nice. it's the Tennessee State Museum, right? It's nice. Yeah, it's nice. It's a little dated. And I was saying, you know, maybe if it weren't free, maybe if they charged admission, they could upgrade some other things. And then we came to a sign that said this artifact has been removed because it's being moved to the new museum that opens later this year. We are just a little early for the new museum. <laughs> it's unfortunate. But um, like I said, I don't, for, for I don't want to bad mouth it. Yeah, it's free. For and a free we'll, museum, this is very nice. Yes, we're learning the history. A lot of, of, lot of artifacts. A lot, a lot of old of wooden things. A lot of nudity, if you A lot of nudity, sort of too, thing. yeah. <laughs> Native <laughs> nudity. Native. Uh, yeah. I can't move my head. At all right, all. Just, um, just look disappointed in yourself. I'm pretty disappointed. Just look. Disappointed in your choices. <laughs> I need to get out of this thing right now. Okay. Oh, look, this is our journey. Wow, Nashville's for the We are not cabinet makers like that guy was. A lot 
of these artifacts are removed. This new museum better be real good. Yeah, yeah. Populism, yeah, yeah. You should keep Napoleon of the stump. So some of these paintings are not good. And why do you say they had so many kids? Several died from rickets. <laughs> because we were sleepy from all the food we ate and all the walking and also I was up since 345 this morning which because of daylight savings time was really like 245 and we lost another hour coming over a time zone mm -hmm. so um, it was a long day very long day <laughs> very long. we're going out tonight watch out I told you <laughs> excited to find what claims to be zero calorie and zero carb sweet tea. Mm -hmm. Is it good? It has the taste, absolutely. It has the sweet tea like taste. This will be a highlight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's taste. Thumbs up. Good job, Milo. Thumbs up. Yeah. Okay, so what have we done so far today? 
Did it, what, was, what was what was our theme? What was our theme for the day? Because every day uh, music has, history. Today's theme was country music history. And before 1:15 today. We, yeah. So we yeah. had breakfast at Biscuit Love in the Gulch, which is like a cool, like hipster kind of neighborhood. Then we went to the Ryman Auditorium for the tour there. Yep. Then we did the Johnny Cash tour, and upstairs from that is the Patsy Cline tour. And then we Hatch Show went Press. to Hatch Show Press, which you can just visit. They also do tours, but you can visit the actual print shop, and we got to talk to someone there who answered all the questions you had. So, you don't need a tour. And then, what else did we do? Uh, check out Printer's Alley. Yes, oh, you know, Printer's Alley. <laughs> um, check out a liquor store. Yes. Uh, we went to this grocery store and got some store. snacks for lunch. And, and now uh, we're back in the hotel. It's 1.15. And we're gonna eat and have a little rest. We are making our decisions. Mm, uh, have you chosen a cocktail? Wow, I mean, they're all thrown together so amazing. I mean, I could read one of these off. I think they're all gonna be crazy, but we'll each try one. The Mogwai, I could read one. It's okay. Okay. And then how about for your dinner? The, yeah, the supper's a tough call. Because you're getting the farm beef, I kinda wanna try something different, so now I'm kinda stuck. You get whatever sure. you want. Yeah. There's so many fine The choices. trout. Right. So they brought us rolls with honey and lard butter, and then, I don't know, she didn't say anything about the rolls, but the butter is honey and lard, and then this is my drink, which is like a Prohibition era non-alcoholic drink called the Casey Jones. Remind me what was in it? Oh man. We'll have to look it up again, what was in it. Ooh. That's very interesting. I know one of the things that was in it was like a smoked smoked salt. verbena. Smoked verbena. No, this wasn't the oh, verbena. Was the it was a smoked salt, and you definitely taste the salt, and you also get like a big whiff of this orange peel, and it's citrusy, and you wanted to try some. I think the smoked verbena is the orange peel. No, that's not verbena. There was a it different one. Like it's citrusy more. Wow. It's citrusy because the orange peel, and then there's smoked salt. You can see the salt on yeah. top of the orange peel. That's beautiful. And there's like RC not, Cola. Not too sweet. <laughs> yeah, no, it was great. It's like a savory drink. <laughs> this, this is your cocktail called Stalk the Line. Stalk the Line. It's a tequila with cucumber, a bay leaf, and sea salt. And I think some kind. Of, I think smoked vermouth. Some kind of vermouth. I don't know if it's smoked or not. This is the killed lettuces, which is basically butter lettuce with a warm bacon dressing. And the shrimp and grits mm -hmm. with a cured egg yolk and many cheeses. All right, don't tell anyone we're eating some carbs. Mm. This is the apples and biscuits I dessert. morning we are at Andrew Jackson's Hermitage and we were just uh, handed this card because I didn't even realize today's is 251st birthday so there's all these special events going on and half price admission so we picked the right day to come out here of course it's a rock star because they made a rock and roll musical my name is Rachel What do you think? What do you think? It's, no, it's very informative so far. <laughs> we have this place to leave your comments. Because do people click like on this twice? <laughs> I mean, what
very informative and very nice, very windy, but no, it's very good. <laughs> the wallpaper alone is yeah, worth the trip. Yeah, like so much stuff in the house itself 90 is original. original. Yeah, wallpapers, carpets, that's pretty crazy considering like the amount of historic homes we've toured and a lot of them are like recreations. Oh, that's good. Yeah, step down on this stuff. Um, yeah. <laughs> some wallpaper over 180 years old yeah so that's really nuts that it's but it's been a museum for so long it's been a museum since 1889 so they've had time to preserve everything mm -hmm. all right we just got on board the old town trolley tour which is a little bit of a ripoff but it goes to a bunch of places that we wanted to see that we can't easily walk to so and this way we get to see like the whole rest of the city and get an actual tour of it you can get discount tickets to some of these attractions so you know we're on vacation so it's worth it i did just get manhandled by an old dude but <laughs> thing that you say now you're going bill you're nuts well kind of sort of not really if you look at the trees that sing if you go up to the car this one has reva on it and you take a picture of the QR code on the card, the entertainer on that card will then start singing and telling you about the vegetation and trees in this park. Those cards are located throughout the entire park. We're about to tour Belmont Mansion, which is part of Belmont University, which looks beautiful. For what is probably our last meal, at least our last dinner <laughs> in Nashville, we are at Acme Feed and Seed, which is actually a really cool place. It has like four levels, so the downstairs level is more like a bar, and then we were told to come to the second level, which is more like this cool, just like open area with different seating areas and table side service and cocktails. So this is the Raspberry Moscow Mule. And then, um, what's the one that you got? A woody, the um, smoked peach old fashioned. Smoked peach old fashioned, which I would not have liked. It's Woody Creek rye whiskey with muddled smoked peach. Okay, and that was gonna be my other possible strong, choice. No, so that was good. Um, but this one is really like gingery, very good. And they have a sushi bar up here. Yeah. We're getting sushi and a cheese plate. So this is much more our speed than the downstairs honky tonk. Yeah. Yeah, here's our cheese plate. That's, that's the small. <laughs> All right, so so what do you have to drink here? Um, I want some ice water. Um, this is the uh, whiskey smash, which is I believe um, it's old smoky whiskey, lemon and mint. Okay, and then you got a that glass. comes with a super cube. All right. Look at that. Okay. This is Basil Hayden's uh, dark rye, which I've never seen before. Basil Hayden's is a, is a much more gentle uh, bourbon from the Jim Beam Company. Okay. Uh, I did not know they made a rye, and they called it dark rye. That's good enough for me. And the Super Cube is a uh, three dollar upcharge. <laughs> this is a three dollar. I I I that they canceled gave for free. I canceled the. I I said they brought me the. I didn't, they didn't have to, <laughs> but they brought me a free ice cube, and it's usually a $3 upcharge. Well, you so. enjoy that super cube. I'm going to have to pour it on the Super night. cube. Super cube. Here we go. Super cube. $14 rye. Here we go. Uh, I got dropping the table here. Hold on a second. It's a shame that we just got this place two, tonight because it's much more our speed than the other honky tonk. We just got a bit busier. This band that's about to go on, I, I was kind of joking that they were like the polyphonic spree, but more and more people keep showing up. They've got, what, two drummers, a keyboard player, at least two or three women singing. 
they are they're Guitar, opening up bass. I've seen their set list. They're opening up with Stevie Wonder's sign seal delivered. So we'll at least stick around so, for that. I'll, I'll stick you. around for that, definitely. live music even in the Nashville airport. <laughs> there is live music in the food court too.